Hey, welcome to the Ranger Rob channel with Rob and Sherry. This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available on Amazon right now. Hi guys, this is Ranger Rob. Kind of a update video uh, here in Central Oregon. Thought I'd show my little garden here. <laughs> Get some uh, zucchini, some snap sugar peas, and some cucumbers growing there. But that's not really the big news today. <clears throat> as you know, as uh, in Central Oregon is one of the reasons we came here was to be more self-reliant. And what does self-reliant mean? It means that I don't have to go to the grocery store so much. But <laughs> instead of going to the grocery store so much, I end up going to Home Depot more. But uh, the big news is and I didn't know I could get them, but uh, it is the 1st of July, the first week of J July. And uh, I really wanted, I thought I was going to have to wait till spring, but like I don't have enough work to do in this new place, I ordered chickens. <laughs> That's right, chicken. What did I order? I ordered 10 Rhode Island Reds, females. And I want to show you my chicken coop. Right there. Looks nice, huh? So, let me come over here. I've got stakes in the ground. So basically, I thought I'd show you the early stages of getting prepared to have chickens. So it's going to be a 8 by 16 coop. It will have a house inside of it. And, uh, it will be about six feet high and it's going to go right here and uh, over here is actually where uh, we're going to build some other stuff I may do a second coop next to this one uh, for checker next year and why checker? Well, I used to raise game birds and we love checker and we actually just want some pet checker so uh, when you get chickens you just don't put them in the pen right away. So that's good because I need time to build the thing. But you do need to brood them. And uh, when they're little, it's a little too cold for them uh, until they develop their feathers. So you need a brooding box. So I thought, oh, I'm going to have to go get one of those livestock water containers, which can be kind of pricey. But, and by the way, it's going to be kind of dark, sorry. Uh, so I was looking in the back of this old shop, and I found a big old box. And it just happens to be just big enough to handle ten little ch chicks. So this is going to be my brooding box. I'm actually going to brood them back here. Because... Um, I don't know if you know it, but when you have a, a brooding box, it gets very dusty and a lot of little feathers. And so uh, this is the perfect place for it. So um, we're kind of excited. It'll still take about six months before we get eggs. But Rhode Island Reds, they make a, they have beautiful, beautiful uh, big brown eggs. So we're looking forward to that. And, uh, hey, if times get tougher, I'll build some more pens, and I'll uh, do some meat birds, too. It all depends on how society is and how food shortages are. But anyway, that's the latest news here in Central Oregon. We will do videos showing us getting our birds. We're actually, I ordered them by mail. So you go, yeah, you can do that, and they'll deliver them to your your closest uh, post office and uh, yeah it's a little risky you could lose a bird or two um, our ultimate goal was only to have no more than six so if we uh, manage to get all ten and they all survive uh, great I guess I'll, my neighbors are going to get a lot of eggs so uh, my dog has got the sneezes you okay Cinder?
You okay? Wow, she must have got a nose full of dust. <laughs> Come here, baby. Come here. So this is Cinder. Yep, look at that dusty nose. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I bet you she sneezed ten times. That'll teach you. It's a little dusty in this area. So, uh, oh, poor baby. <laughs> that took all the energy out of her. So anyway, guys, that's the latest on uh, our little homestead kind of situation here uh, we also told you we're going to be putting gardens in here um, and actually I'll show you over here real quick this was a garden that was started and it was actually a watering system and it works but it never got done so uh, we're going to see if we can get it going uh, I don't think I may get it prepared this year, but I don't know if we'll plan anything this year. So, anyway, so farther back, chicken coop's going to be back there. I'll have automatic water, automatic feeding system, and uh, I'm going to put uh, motion detector lights back here to kind of keep, uh, keep the predators away. Uh, I've built these cages before, I know what to do. Um, to be safety uh, chicken wire put into the ground so like critters can't dig underneath so yeah it's a hard project I've actually made the schematics already and uh, uh, it'll be it'll be a good coop so anyway that's the latest that I'd share that with you thank you very much for watching please uh, leave your comments below and uh, Hopefully, pretty soon, about two weeks, I think, I should be showing you some baby Rhode Island chicks. All right, have a great day, everybody. Bye. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.